Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and here we have another video on Linux on the Samsung DeX. You're probably tired of these videos now, but there have been lots of questions, so I'm going to try to answer a few questions, and I've got a proper screen recorder, so this video will hopefully show you more detail. I'm using the pin here, but I do want to say I connected this to the Samsung DeX pad, had Linux on my tab loaded up full screen on the monitor, keyboard and mouse support, and it was awesome. It was just the way it should be full for a full featured OS. So let's go ahead and launch into Linux. And we'll go ahead and run this. Again, if this is your first video, this is running in a container on the Galaxy Tab S4. Um, so this is beta. Just want to remind everyone. And I just really hope that Samsung will continue this development. I see so much promise here. Um, it's really got my mind spinning with the possibilities of here you have uh, an Android tablet where you can, you know, run all the Android apps and then switch right over if you need some full featured apps into Linux and, and use a lot of the awesome Linux tools that we have at our disposal. All right, I want to answer some questions here. First of all, there was a viewer question about Blender. And yes, Blender works. I was able to get Blender installed, much to my surprise. Now, I'm not a Blender user. I don't really know what I'm doing here um, as far as controlling things, but it appears to work. Now, this looks like it would be a processor-intensive app, and I've gone through the different menus and things like that, and it seems like this is functioning as it should, but I just, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, but at any rate, I'm very surprised it works. Now, I installed a couple of other things that did not work, um, so I expected, for example, VLC Media Player to work. However, it sits there and loads and loads and loads. Now, I suspect that this kind of support will come in the future as long as Samsung and the developers can get together and there's incentive there to make sure these apps are running on this architecture or processor. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll have to force quit on this and close this out the hard way. So we'll force quit. And then the other app that did not work, which I wanted to try first, was Voco Screen. And we get the same thing. Uh, we'll just have to force quit with Voco Screen. It goes to um, launch like it's going to work and then bails out. Uh, on the other hand, Rhythm Box Music Player, which was pre installed, does work. Now, one of the other questions was, is there USB flash drive support? And because I had the DEX pad here with a USB port, I was able to test that and could not. Uh, get the OS to see the flash drive. It does see, however, the SD card that's inside the tablet. Um, and then I just want to say again, the mouse and keyboard setup with that on the full monitor, it's just like the full OS should be. It just, the resolution and everything was terrific. And it just kind of opens up a lot of possibilities. Now I want to speak to one of those possibilities and that's the office suite. I touched on that in the last video but you get full LibreOffice support. Now, granted, there are lots of good quality Office apps, even Microsoft Office, on the Android side of things that you could use. However, none of them, to my knowledge, would be as full-featured as LibreOffice is running on Linux. And this works as it should. So... Um, Nice to see. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And then one other, I could not get Krita to run in the previous video, but I did get um, GIMP. Oh, let's see. Yep, I hit the right thing there. I did get GIMP to load. And let's just go ahead and go to File and New. And uh, we'll bump that up a little. Let's go to a template. Let's see here. And so you get pin support and everything there. And I uh, just wanted to show you that as I quickly run through this. And if I had all my toolboxes and everything pulled up, I would go through the eraser. But, but this works, so that shows some real good promise. We'll go ahead and discard those changes and close that out. And then finally, I wanted to run through one more thing here. If you are someone who uses, well, there's Chromium. Let's see if this is going to launch. Actually, I've started having some problems with Chromium 
Out of the blue, where Firefox seems to load just fine, now Chromium has decided that it doesn't want to work for some reason. And now it just force quit on its own. Actually, let's see. Yep, nope, it's not running. All right, so I'm going to go back over and we'll go back to Internet and Thunderbird. So if you're a Thunderbird user, you'll be pleased to know that this is apparently already working. I didn't set up an account or anything here, uh, but th this is what you use as your mail tool. You'd be good to go. Now let's jump over here to Firefox and answer one more viewer question, which is, does YouTube work in the browser as if this were, you know, a full, uh, not a limited browser as you would find, say, on Android or iOS, but the full browser, the full Firefox browser? And yes, YouTube does work, although this is not, you know, completely smooth. Um, you'll see, let me see if I can scroll here, if this is going to, yeah, it's just a little janky. It's, uh, it's not very smooth. You can, maybe the recorder's not picking up on this, but it's definitely not that good. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into a video here. As many of you know, Stan Lee passed and he's responsible for Spider-Man and so many other, um, action heroes and comics. Let's go ahead and skip this and... And the video here is, you probably can't pick it up with a screen recorder, but it's so-so. It's just not smooth. You can see screen clipping. You can see where it stutters, that kind of thing. Now let me figure out how to get out of this. And uh, so it works. It's not smooth as if it were, you know, installed and running on your more powerful PC. Um let me see here. I'm, I'm selecting the wrong things with my pen. We'll go ahead and close that out. So I just wanted to give you one more rundown. This will probably be the last video until there is an update or there are some major changes that you know, I feel like I want to make sure you know about that would be important for you to know about. Uh, but just the promise here. If you get a minute, just send Samsung an email or reach out to them and show them some love. Uh you know, express your support for this project to continue with this being beta. Uh, maybe other developers are taking notice of this. It would certainly behoove Samsung because now with this capability, that's one of the reasons that I considered Samsung as supposed to some other much less expensive tablet is because you have DeX as well as Linux support. So for the powers that be, if you're listening this is a really good thing, and you've got a huge community out there that would be happy to see this continue to develop. All right, well, that's it for now. I'm going to launch out, and because I'm living in two worlds here, we're going to go ahead and close Linux. Now we're back in Dex, and we'll close out the screen recorder. Hope everyone has a good week, and we will check you later.